Om Shanti and now we are going to record the 12th of June's Godly Blessing where God says that do such actions that you receive blessings from others. So even blessings are very important because they are the ones which carry us forward in our life. So let's see what does God have to say here. God says may you accumulate your stock of blessings by performing elevated karma and become a living image who grants visions. Take blessings and give blessings in whatever actions you perform. By performing elevated actions, you automatically receive everyone's blessings. It emerges from everyone's lips. This one is very good. Wow. Your actions become a memorial. No matter what work you do, take happiness and give happiness. So, Blessings come in the form of happiness. When we receive blessings from others, we feel happy, we feel lighter. We feel the burden of many births has gone off from us, gone away from us. And we feel lighter on a daily basis, provided we are doing that kind of work or action which is only giving us blessings. Take blessings and give blessings. That means think good for others, think pure for others. Otherwise, you're going to make your own mind heavier, your own intellect heavier. Because you take and give blessings at the conference age, now this is a very deeper aspect, conference age, for the world, the iron age, or the Kaliyuk is going on. But those who have taken this knowledge are in the conference age. People will continue to take blessings from your non-living images. Those non-living images are there in the temples, in the form of deities. When we do divine work, divine action, our remembrance is in that form of a deity which is there in the temple. But when we are doing impure actions, we remove the divine aspect within us and we start receiving curses from people. So either be that divine being who is there in the temple, who is giving blessings to others with the hand up like this. But, but just by doing that, you can't give blessings to others. You can think good about others and that itself is a blessing. But you can be doing like this and thinking impure for others. That is not exactly what is blessing all about. Blessing goes through the thoughts, through the energies, more than from the words. So you can be 5,000 kilometers away from somebody, but still your thoughts can reach to that person and act as a blessing for that person. Or you can be thinking impure thoughts about that person and still that person might be feeling your impure vibrations. So God says, people will continue to take blessings from your non-living images and you will become living images who grant visions at the present time too. So people remember you when they think about goodness from you and you become like a vision in their life that yes, I do need to become like this person who's got good wishes, is doing actions to earn blessings from others. How do you become such elevated being is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris on a daily basis. We're trying to change ourselves and become that divine human being. You too can learn that with this Om Shanti.